All right, guys, gonna walk out here. I got a 1967 Pontiac Firebird. Getting ready to do a cold start. It's the first time I've actually been in the vehicle myself. I'm gonna take it back here, kind of wipe it off. All right, figured it out. Had to pause the video to get the right key. Let me jump off in here. This is the cold start on this car, you can tell. Tip gauge is buried. Full pressure is 55. We'll let her warm up a second, and then I'm gonna pull it around back and wipe it off. Then we'll get ready for this test drive. It's that time again, test drive time up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1967 Firebird sitting here. We got a uh, date code correct, original 326. Getting ready to take off, go down the road. I'm gonna point out any kind of flaws that I could find. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do so. I post vehicles like this every single day. We've got a full classic car lot up here at Maple Motors. Y'all can check out at maplemotors.com. Appreciate y'all watching and tuning in. Let's go for a ride. Take a look around inside the car here before we take off. Kind of check some stuff out. So I believe all the seats are original. Looks like a lot of this is original inside here. Still in fairly good shape to be a 67. Go ahead and start it up. Check some stuff out on the dash here. See if we can get, I seen the AC compressor was not hooked up. I'm just trying to get a blower to blow and it's not working. The blower motor's out on this. Let's try the radio. Radio does work. Looks like both of our gauges are coming up pretty good down here. Let it get warmed up back here while I was wiping it off. Let's check our wipers. Wipers work good. Check our horn. Horn works good. It's test drive time, let's take off. Let's take off down the road. We'll point out any kind of flaws that I can find like I normally do. So we do got our seat belt in here and seems like it's working pretty good, let's see. It does work, we're gonna take off. I like to do these videos to let you know exactly what's wrong with this car what all that needs to be done before you show up because we don't actually work on them here we just buy and sell the car seems to run pretty good it's pulling a little bit to the right just slightly i mean very slightly. The steering wheel seems to be straight. Our gas gauge is moving around. I believe it's three quarters of a tank full. Speedometer is not working, which means the valves are absolutely not correct because they're not going up as we drive. The car feels like it's pulling pretty good. behind us I'm gonna get on the brakes brakes stop fast steering's nice and tight I can hear the turn signal clicking I don't see any indicator on the dash the light would be right into here. It's not cutting on. I'm gonna hit the other side, see if it does. The other side does. It's probably a bulb. 
front side's not flashing. I hear it clicking though. I do not believe the kick down is hooked up. I keep trying it. Pulls pretty hard though. Hey, kick down's not hooked up. Stick y'all in the driver's seat here. We're gonna take off again. Our temperature is still sitting at about 185. Our oil pressure's at 50. We've been driving around for about 15, 20 minutes now. Gas gauge is a little under three quarters. So I can see it's moving and it is working. keeps breaking riding them brakes oh he's turning all right here we go you should be able to jump on the interstate do about 70 in this car it doesn't feel like it has a lower end gear ratio get good pickup suspension feels nice Easy to drive, that's on this road right here. You got a big bump in the middle. We're gonna hit it, check the suspension on this car. About halfway down here, I'll let off the throttle. Just kind of listen to the car, how it reacts to this bump. Here we go. Nice and smooth. Actually, the car has stopped pulling slightly to the right. It was probably due to where it was sitting. Could have been a slight break over here grabbing. It could have been a tire pressure issue. None of the tires looked low before I left, but that is a common thing to happen when it's just slightly pulling. We'll head down Main Street here and try that theory out again, make sure it ain't doing it. But I haven't noticed it doing it here the last part of the test drive, so... We're gonna check the motor, the trunk, look at all the seals, check the paint all over, look for any dents and scratches. If you 
don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day. We've got a whole classic car lot up here full of them. You can check our website out at maplemotors.com. Or you can give us a call, 615-822-4444. Be happy to help you out. Check our gauges right here. 